Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically add leads from Google lead form to Salesforce. Now suppose guys you are a business owner and you are using Google lead form to generate some leads and to nurture those leads you want to add those leads to Salesforce CRM. Now the manual process of adding leads from Google lead form to Salesforce is very much repetitive and time consuming. So to avoid this problem, in this video I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever a new lead will be generated on our Google lead form, the same lead will be automatically added as a contact in our Salesforce CRM. Interesting right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step by step guide to create this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So to do so, we have created a workflow inside Pavli Connect and in this workflow you can see two windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So the idea here is, first we will collect the leads generated from Google lead form inside Pavli Connect and then we will send those very same leads to Salesforce. So for that, let's begin with our trigger window. Here in choose app, search for Google lead form. Google lead form it is. And then in a trigger event, select new lead. So by selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. So by using this URL, we will connect our Google lead form with Pavli Connect. Now how we are going to do this, you can follow the help text over here. So we will just copy this webhook URL from here. Go to our Google Ads account. Now guys, I'm assuming that you have already created a campaign inside your Google Ads account. And after creating the campaign, just go to ads and extensions option and click on extensions. Then click on this plus button and from the drop down, we have to select lead form extension. Just select it. After that, we have to create a new lead ad form over here. So I'll just enter some details for this form. For example, the headline is Pavli, business name is Pavli Connect and description is automation and integration software. And after entering the, these details, we have to select what are the fields which we are willing to add or what are the questions which we are willing to add in our form. So I want to add the name field and I want to separate the post name and last name, the phone number and email address. You can create a form according to your choice, according to your requirement. After selecting this field, we will scroll down and we have to add a privacy policy URL. For just for an example, I will add the privacy policy URL of Pavli. So I enter pavli.com slash privacy and policy. So I will copy this very same link and add it over here. After that, I'll scroll down. It is asking me for form submission message. So by default, the call to action is selected as visit site. So I'll select none for this video. And after selecting it, we will scroll down and it is asking me for a call to action description. So I'll add a description as we are testing. Now after doing this guys, I'll scroll down and we can see that we have an option named as export leads from Google ads and uh, below this, we have an another option at other data integration option. Just click on this options, scroll down and here you can see a field named as webhook URL. Now at this field, we have to paste the very same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. So we will copy the webhook URL from Pavli Connect and paste it over here. Then we have to enter a key over here. So I'll just enter key as test. And after that, as we click on send test data button, a test data, a test lead is automatically sent to this very same URL. And we can see the details of that lead inside Pavli Connect. So right now it is showing us waiting for webhook response. But as we click on send test data, we can see that a test data is sent successfully from Google Ads and the details or the data of a new lead, a test lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So now we have received a response in Pavli Connect and we will scroll down and see that this is the details or the data of a new test lead. So here you can see this is the phone number, user phone number in the string value. Then after phone number, this is the test email which Google Ads sent. This is the test first name and this is the last name. So basically we have created four fields in our column and Google Ads had sent the test details for those four fields 
to our WebOx URL and we can see that response in Pabli Connect. So our Google lead form in Pabli Connect is now successfully connected using this WebOx URL. Now every time a lead is generated inside our Google lead form, automatically that same lead will be captured in Pabli Connect in this very same form. Then just click on save button. I don't have an actual campaign, active campaign, uh, running campaign right now. So I can't save it right now. But you just click on save and this will this form will be saved. Now after receiving the details of a test lead in Pabli Connect, we have to send this data to Salesforce. For that, we will scroll down and click on this action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for Salesforce. Salesforce it is. Now here in action event, we have to select create contact. So this is the action event, create contact. Just select it and click on connect. Select add new connection. And now we have to connect a Salesforce account with Pabli Connect. So just click on this connect with Salesforce button. And because guys, I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, Pabli Connect detects the very same account. So just click on allow. After that, we can see that our Salesforce account is also successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now, after the connection, it is asking us some details for the person to whom we wanted to add as a contact in Salesforce. So the first thing it asks is last name. So we have received the response for last name, the detail of last name from Google lead form in Pabli Connect in our trigger window. So this is the response for last name. So we have to map this very same response in this given field over here. And the process of mapping is very simple. We just have to simply click on this button and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Google lead form can be seen over here. And out of all these responses, we have to enter the response of value of last name. So this is the response. So just map this. After the last name, just follow the same process for post name as well. We will follow the value for post name. This is the value response for post name. Just map it. Then other street, other cities. These details we have not received from Google at lead form. So we will ignore these details. These details are not mandatory. Then we all have also received the mobile number. So just click here and from the drop down, map the value or response for the mobile number. This is the response. Just select it and email as well. So from the drop down below, just map the test email or test response for email. After mapping all this data, just scroll down and click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. Now, let's just check our Salesforce account and see that a contact name with first name and last name can is created over there or not. So let's go to our Salesforce account. This is the contacts page of my Salesforce account. Let me refresh it once. And yes, guys, as you can see, we have a new contact in our Salesforce account named as first name, last name. And the email is the very same test email which Google lead form sent to Pabli Connect while making the test form submission. So guys, we have so, uh, seen that this automation, this workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect is working perfectly fine. By using this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in our Google lead form, automatically the very same person will be added as a contact in our Salesforce account. So that's it for today's video guys. Thank you. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Pabli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.